Good evening folks, Joe Spock with NDB Aviation. Tonight, I'm going to show you a quick setup for the SciTech Fly 5 joystick, SciTech throttle quadrant USB, and the Cessna SciTech trim wheel. So, we're running X-Plane 10, 64-bit, and we got your trusty Fly 5 in your left hand, your throttle quadrant over here by your right hand side like it would be, and your trim wheel. So. So you can see I got everything already programmed in, roll, pitch, even the rudder pedals, throttle, prop, mixture, and even the trim wheel is ready to go. So, we're going to bounce over and if you've never done this before, show you how to do it. So it's X-Plane 10, 64-bit, and to find how to set things up, you're going to want to go over here, bring your cursor up to the top area of the screen, and go to settings, click on it. Here you're going to see Joystick and Equipment. Go ahead and click on that again. And it brings up our trusty assignment windows. This will be, one we'll be in in a second here, but let's first go over to Axes, Axis, and you'll see everything already signed in. So, we have our roll, and if, say, you're doing this for the first time, you're not going to have anything there, so we'll click on these little up-down arrows, and it'll populate this entire list. So this is our roll. We want to find a roll, assign, and that's it. Pretty much simple for all of them. Now, for the throttle quadrant, there are a couple different things you can do. As you can see, there's the throttle. Here's our prop and our mixture. Throttle on initial setup is perfectly fine. Prop and mixture, however, have to be clicked for reverse. Otherwise, they will not be proper. Another nice thing about X-Plane 10 and you can do this in FSX or Lucky Mark Prepare 3D. Click on Throttle. We can assign it. But if you come on down the list here, you're going to see Throttle Warn 2, 3, and 4, Prop Warn 2, 3, and 4, and Mixture Warn 2, 3, and 4. If you want to get complicated, you even have reversers down here. A whole lot of other things that you can assign within the Axis section. So, about these Throttle, Prop, and Mixture that have no numbers behind them, those are your general commands. If you have a multi-engine setup and multiple qu throttle quadrants, then you can get into depth and go ahead and set everything up so you can actually do some training, home training, yourself to get a little, you know, knock some rust off before you go back out there and fly your Duchess or Seminole or DA-42 or maybe even something nice and fast. So, maybe a uh, Baron, who knows? So here's the easy setup, pretty simple. Just click what you want and go from there. But since we're just doing a regular throttle command, we'll just come back up here to throttle, click, and everything goes the same for the uh, elevator trim. And since all of these are USB driven, Windows will install the software drivers itself as long as you're connected to the internet. If you're not connected to the internet, you're going to need the drivers off of the uh, disks that these come with. The nice thing about the uh, USB devices, plug them in before you start up X-Plane 10. And when you start up, come into the settings, the joystick, and equipment, and you can assign everything in here if it doesn't auto-populate. But usually some of this stuff will auto-populate. If it doesn't, it's simple to set up, as you've seen. And coming over here, you have your button basics. There's also button advanced. It can take a whole night to get into, so we'll just stay over here in basic. Every time you touch a button on your Fly 5 or throttle quadrant, it's going to show you what you've assigned it to, if you haven't assigned it to anything, it'll say do nothing at all. Pretty simple. Eh? You can see as I start pressing buttons, other numbers are going to come up in the little button window. But let's see, back to the Fly 5. We have our 3D cockpit command look. We have our chase view look. We even have the landing gear toggle switch as the trigger. Or, sorry, not the trigger, one of the other buttons. But our trigger is set for the toggle brakes max effort. Really simple setup quick and easy and if you really want to keep going into advanced settings you can go into the buttons advance it just takes a little bit more time on understanding and your null zones I have everything set up where there's no linear feel to it it's all straight input you can do the same or you can toggle it however you want it just takes time to get it exactly the way you want it for the aircraft you fly on a normal basis but each their own. Simulators are pretty simple setup, and this one with X-Plane 10 is overall simple. Say Tech Gear is good. It's 
easy to get a hold of. You can get it at the uh, air shows, Oshkosh, or Sundafone, or online. And it's USB driven, so it's easy to plug in and get rolling. So, back to the simulator. See everything's working. We can take off and get ourselves rolling. But that's not what this is all about right now. So, if you're wondering how to do it at warm last time, come up here for the menu settings, settings, joystick and equipment, axis, click these little drop down buttons, and there you go. Simple as one, two, three, and a couple times maybe four. But overall, it's pretty simple. If you guys have any questions, leave some comments below, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can to answer anything you guys have. From NDB Aviation and Joe Spock, you guys have a good night and happy flying.